Hello everyone, in this video today we will guide you on a basic introduction on the flow builder in automation. First of all, if you go to automation on the left, you will see the flows here. It is how you can simply build your own flow. And first of all, you, if you click add flow, you have a choice to either start from scratch or use the existing template that this is already available for you to use. And for example, if I choose the e-commerce one, you can simply come to the flow and on the left, you will see different types of tools that you can use. If you would like to send a message, then you can simply configure your message within the flow itself. And if you would like to ask a question from your customer, for example, what you would like to do, or um, what is your name, what is your email, you can simply click here and you can choose different types of questions that you can use. For example, open-ended question that your client need to type the text to answer you. The button, they can simply tap on the button to give you a quick reply or a list message that you can give up to um, 10 choices for your client to click on. So all this will be available in the YT standard plan as well. And you can simply configure your question here. And you can see that will be updated uh, correspondingly. And you can also set a condition as well. And below that, you will have all other operations that you can use in the professional plan. For example, uh, if they answer a certain question, then you can subscribe or unsubscribe them from the broadcast list. You can update their attribute as well. For example, the language they use, the location, gender, etc., whatever that will be useful for your uh, customer reference. And you can also set a tag, assign it to different team based on what their, um, their answer is, uh, trigger another flow, update the chat status. If it's an open chat, once they finish the flow, they can close the chat directly itself that you can easily choose here. And you can also send a template or set a time delay as well. And of course, for more advanced feature, you can also pass the data to a web hook or pass the data to a Google spreadsheet. So this feature will be explained later on in other videos in detail. This is like, you know, to give you a basic idea on how you can set up a flow and link it to different messages. Thank you very much for watching.